aircraft flew in swiftly, busloads of airmen traveled down the highways, and tons of cargo traveled on the backs of semis to Avon Park Air Force Range, where a combat search and rescue task force exercise took place, measuring the preparedness of Moody's finest. We were part of a wing readiness inspection, and one of the things we were being graded on is our ability to set up on a ground search and rescue alert. Uh, so we'd be postured to be able to get off the ground within an hour, and they gave us a window to be there, a time to, to be ready to go, and so that, that drove everything that we did. You know, when we departed Moody, when we uh, had the aircraft arrive here, the kind of maintenance that we did, and, uh, and all the preparation to be able to start our alert at that particular time. The exercise's ops tempo was high, and focus was crucial. Attention to detail was a must. Training of this nature proves to be beneficial for all airmen who participate. Um, there's a different feel to deployments whenever you're getting the aircraft ready. You see how important it is to do the work and get it done right the first time. And I feel for the A1Cs and those who haven't deployed before, um, get some first-hand experience here and with how the operations are going. Avon Park does not have a four-star hotel, but they do have plenty of beds and space to unwind. The accommodations are, they're not that bad, um, staying open bays, but it's not terrible. Um, dealt with on deployments, so we can do it here too. The exercise was successful, objectives were met, and overall, leadership was pleased with the outcome. I'm very, very happy with it from an exercise perspective where I got to bring 200 people down here uh, under the wing commander's direction and be able to perform CSAR with them. Reporting from Avon Park Air Force Range, I'm Staff Sergeant Timothy Gallagher.